Palm Sunday, also known as Passion Sunday in Christian tradition, is the first day of Holy Week. It is one Sunday prior to Easter, a day most would declare as the triumphal entry of Jesus as King of Kings. But was it really triumphant? Jesus rides into town on a borrowed donkey. Matthew 21, 2 through 3 gives us the instruction saying, Go to the village ahead of you, and at once you will find a donkey tied there with her colt by her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, say that the Lord needs them, and he will send them right away. God had prophesied through the prophet Zechariah, Say to the daughter Zion, See, your king comes to you gentle and riding on a donkey, and on a colt, the foal of a donkey. It was God's plan from the start. If we look back at the birth of Jesus, he came to this earth as a baby. When he was born, he was laid in a feeding trough to sleep. He lived a humble life, probably learning the trade of carpentry from Joseph. Throughout his ministry, Jesus lived a nomadic life going from place to place with perhaps no comfortable place to lay his head. His purpose was not to acquire wealth or power. He didn't need it. His entire life spent on earth had led him to this moment. So for him to ride a borrowed donkey into Jerusalem was God's perfect plan. As Jesus rode the donkey into the city, people were shouting Hosanna, a Hebrew expression meaning to save. At that moment, when the people were yelling out, they weren't just praising Jesus. They were in fact crying for a savior to save them. Jesus, God of salvation, save us. The author Luke writes that some of the Pharisees who were observing told Jesus he should rebuke his disciples for praising him. Jesus replied, if they keep quiet, the rocks will cry out. What about the people who were shouting Hosanna and lining the streets into Jerusalem? It wasn't the people of the city that were coming out to meet Jesus. It was the people who had decided to follow Jesus. The people who had been traveling with him and learning from his teaching about how they needed to live. In fact, the author and apostle Matthew details in Matthew 21, 10 through 11, that the city was stirred from the entrance. The people were asking who was entering the city. It was the crowds of followers of Jesus that proclaimed to the city's people who Jesus was. Jesus didn't ride in a royal chariot or ride on a majestic white stallion into the city. He simply rode on the back of a borrowed donkey, a symbol of peace symbolizing he was not arriving as a king to wage war, rather he was coming as the Prince of Peace. The donkey had a few garments laid over it as people lined the streets with palm branches and garments to honor him. Perhaps not the most exciting or glamorous entrance, yet it was effective. His followers were excited to see him enter the city. Completely focused on what his purpose was, Jesus, out of love for his humanity, chose to enter Jerusalem on that first Palm Sunday, knowing that a few days later he would demonstrate that love by being crucified on a cross. Jesus, having people all around him, celebrating him and praising him as he entered Jerusalem, yet somehow it feels as though he was completely alone. With prophecy being fulfilled and the weight of his fate pressing on him, Jesus' entrance was nothing but triumphant.